Hey, Mongoose Clan. Welcome back. We're here today to check out Tower of Fantasy. Just been getting it downloaded here, ready to go soon. And we'll check it out. Looks like a really cool game. I like games like this, so I'm sure I'll have fun. But I'm excited to, to bring it to you guys today, too, and show you guys what it's all about. It looks a lot like, uh, um, from first glance, it looks a lot like Genshin Impact, another gotcha game like that. Um, and the, uh, I love the animation style. Um, So this is my kind of game. I'm, I'm really happy that we're seeing more games like this pop up. So you might hear me munching a little bit in the background. Um, I'm just finishing up some lunch, uh, but I wanted to get on um, and get this started for you guys. All right, looks like we're uh, so it looks like we're a go. Let's take a look. All right, let's see, how does that, um, there we go, all right, that's loading. We should be able to see it now. Take me a second to figure out how to get this going up on here. Guess we'll try out Oumuamua. Here we go. This is the cutscene that we missed before. You wish to see me, my lord? Hykros has sent someone into the quarantine zone. Interesting. It's time to release the house. Release the hound. What is this portal? Target signal lost. I can't locate it anymore. Careful. Something about this place doesn't feel right. Up there. Here? How? 
Monster Dog. It's a trap! It's like if they took Cerberus and mixed it with Bebop and Rocksteady from Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. That's my first thought. Alright, let's try this again. There we go. Wait, was she not behind us? Oh shit. Uh, today's definitely not my day. Yeah, I feel that. At least we got this working now though, huh? Let's take a look. Initial impressions. Really good. I'm liking the animation style. Ooh. I assume this is going to be our weapon here. A mine. This wasn't mentioned in the intel. Energy reserves are low. Oh, please don't fail me now. No! <laughs> Those monsters are in here. Woof. Kind of looks like Houndoom. Or... Uh, oh. Try trapping, tapping one to use weapon skills. That was way too easy. I have to figure out a way to get out of here. Can we break these boxes? Yes, we can. Good. But do we get anything from them though? What the? Oh, interesting. You can break those. I don't know what that does, but They should not have given me that power. Oh, crystals, okay. Let's go farm some more of those crystals back here. If I would actually hit the crystals. Uh, the hitbox on this is really weird. Base bar jump. Pretty straightforward so far, gameplay wise. Um, climbing. Space to jump while you climb. Yeah, it's a. Uh, Nothing, nothing too, uh, too out of the ordinary in terms of controls right now, which is good. It's a nice, nice and smooth uh, intro. Uh, it's freezing. Cerberus. Oh, wh oh, I see. It's like quick time events. I missed one of them, but... That was close. 
I didn't think the big one would follow me. I don't know. Uh, I need to contact um, headquarters somehow. How forgiving those quick ahead. time events are. Uh, I can have pretty low, uh, slow reaction time sometimes, so that can kind of screw me up when uh, when I don't know what's coming. Um, but. Uh, So in terms of like having little quick time events with uh, little quick time events with cutscenes like that, I don't know if I'm a fan yet, but we'll see how they implement it. I'm not against it. It's just a, a design choice. I'm not sure if uh, it will fit my playstyle well or not. All right. Okay. Elemental weapons. Let's see, if we gotta fight these guys. Aberrants. Okay. The uh. One thing I don't like is when you're uh, when you're attacking right now, uh, it moves you quite a bit, and, and the hitbox with the sword seems to be pretty specific. Um, so I find myself missing a lot and, and getting carried out of uh, out of range of an enemy. They might have like uh, right now. Come on, just a little longer. There might be, uh, I'm, I'm sure they might have like a, a targeting um, sort of thing that, that we'll learn about in a second here, but right now that's a little wonky. Cool. Make sure I didn't miss anything. Probably not. Very beautiful, though. The suppressor energy. Just a little more, a little. Uh, who are they? Oh shit. Take her and wipe her memory. Wait. They said her? I feel like that, that might be a little uh detail in the design that might might need some tweaking. The worst is over. Now comes the road to recovery. Good thing we got there in time. Hmm? Was that movement? A uh, light? What happened? Hey, can you see me? Zeke, come here. Are they awake? Suppressor seems to be fine. No need to worry. A little disorienting with the the cam there right now in the background. It might be just be my frame rate. I'm not super savvy when it comes to that sort of stuff, so I've got got a lot to learn yet when it comes to streaming, but that's why I'm here. Let's see. Zeke. Your suppressor has been replaced with a new energy cell. Feeling better? 
Much better. And you are? You've been out for a whole day. I thought you were... That's Shirley, and I'm Zeke, her brother. I'm in charge of this shelter. You saved me? Of course. We found you passed out behind the shelter and... Your suppressor was out of power, so we brought you in and fixed it. This is Astra Shelter, area code HT501. What's your name? And what are you doing all alone in the mountains? So if you're looking for uh, to play this game, it looks like the uh, the voice lines, the best way to play it with, uh, with pacing is if you're using the play button here. Um, you can also use the, the space button I'm using, but uh, it, it, it's uh, not as, um, it doesn't respond right away, so it kind of gets the, the pacing of the dialogue a little off. Just a um, little uh, note. I don't know. I can't remember. This person was all bruised up and passed out in the mountain. Probably a lost scavenger. A lost scavenger? Well, tell oh, even then I'm still having... The Aberrant's built a nest in the machine cemetery. You're lucky we found you alive. You can stay here until you recover your memories. We did a full scan of your body and everything seems to be in the clear. I... Thank you. Go get yourself cleaned up. You look like a mess. Yeah, there, uh, there might be something in the settings I'll check out in a second Surely. where I can speed up the um, I've already informed her. the text because that might be what's slowing everything down. Got it. Hey, newbie, this way. Oh, Let's and see. your weapon is on top of that crate. Don't forget to pick it up. Okay. Uh, let's check out settings here. Um. Just taking a quick skim here to see if there's anything specific that pops out at me. Interesting. That's cool. They have the different style settings like that. I've never seen that before. Probably isn't new, but new for me. Not gonna mess with too much of that stuff. Um, message, oh, that's. Controller. Would that be on, that's not, no, that wouldn't be on display. Would that be back in basic if they had text? Uh, Um, oh, maybe there's stuff down here I missed. Scroll text settings. That's the only text settings I'm seeing right now. That might be something, um, just to note for uh, developers of this game. Uh, to, to include a setting where you can speed up the, the text speed there because that kind of slowed down the pacing of that intro um, and made it a little wonky. It was still enjoyable though. I, I, I still enjoyed it. Not uh, just kind of little details. Gonna claim ourselves some, uh, some loot. Can't have a gotcha game without lots of loot. Love it. And then let's 
let's see. Back to the game. Let's wander around here a little bit, like. Oh, cool. We can take a look at things. Oh, whoops. I think I just screwed that up. Okay, I searched it, and did I get anything? I don't know. Got some meat. Yeah, I mean, for uh, for this stage in the game, you look like a mess. Take Shirley and get cleaned up. This stage in the game, uh, it's looking nice. Um, I've got, I've had a few nitpicks here and there, but really it, they're little detail things that can be fixed pretty easily. Well, I don't, I don't know how easily on the technical side of things, but they're simple concepts to, to deal with. So I was supposed to pick up my sword. I didn't see my sword over there. Um, this one. Curious, what's behind the building? I always check behind the buildings because I'm that kind of guy. Nothing. Ooh. Talk to her yet? I need, oh, there it is. Okay. Big sheep. Not too shabby, am I right? Did both you and Zeke grow up here? We have been living here since we were very little. Aww. There weren't a lot of people back then. Everyone chipped in to build this place little by little. Hmm? It's the bad guys. model is a little buggy so it talks funny sometimes i apologize i will do my best to make my speech intelligible oh you're fine mia <laughs> C come with me please we should not keep miss celine waiting i appreciate that very much astra shelter is unfamiliar to me zeke and shirley took an unconscious took and unconscious me in, yet I can recall, can't recall anything before that, except a feeling of unease. What happened? I'll have to look into it. So yeah, like the, the start right now, 
Um, like I said, it's it's reminding me a lot of Genshin Impact with uh, um, you got the the girl and the boy, um, and you see that a lot in in games with you know when you were working in, in different uh, um, working with a similar genre. There's there's some some things that just work really well, and uh, it's not. Um, it's not a bad thing to, to utilize those uh, in that way. Um, so I know some people might might have an issue with that, think that it's it's too similar to Genshin or it's not original enough. Um, but when it comes to, to creating video games, uh, it's uh, um, there there's different priorities that you want to focus on. And in terms of the, the smoothness of game design. Sometimes you just end up with uh, situations that are uh, similar in games um, because that, that uh, results in, in a smooth game design and it works really well. So I don't have any issues with that. Um, and I really like the, the unique aspects that they bring to the characters. So for me, it's just a development of the genre. And I, I like to see it. But I, I was really liking the, in the little uh, scene where the, where Mia showed up, is it, when it zooms down and you see her little feet. I don't know why, I, that, that made me giggle. So we, we can auto sprint and dodge. I'm gonna choose Auto sprint for now. Hey, see that battleship up ahead? That's the Bethlehem. My brother said it's been here for 50 years. 50 years? Yeah, when the cataclysm took place, an Omnium explosion destroyed an entire fleet that was patrolling nearby. Only the Bethlehem managed to land on the island. The shelter was built around its remains. Huh. Hey, that's Celine. Let's head on over. Uh-oh. Oh, hey! It's a little cat. Huh. Oh. Okay. <laughs> yeah, I, uh, I wander around a bit, so I'm sorry if, if that annoys anyone. I, I, have, I have ADHD, and my mind wanders all over the place. That's a cute dog. Good little puppy. Mind your step, youngster. Some luckless guy just fell off from the bridge the other day. Can I jump off the bridge? Mia hopes you will pay more attention to your health. If you are injured, promptly bandage the wound. Mia can provide emergency treatment, guidance, calling. Oops. I didn't mean to do that. Can I? Oh, is there no way to, to get through the dialogue quicker? That's, they should fix that. So that's where they want us to go. So it's me, so I'm gonna go this way. Probably waste my time. Try and smack a plant and fall. Wonderful. Hmm. I really like the, the detail and the designs, but I mean, it's, I don't, I don't, uh, Oh, there is fall damage, I just noticed. Um, but I'm not, I'm not surprised at all by, uh, from what, what we were shown. Um, this is very much what I, what I expected, but it's very good. I'm, I'm very happy with the product here right now. 
Okay, now how do I get back to where I was? Because I screwed that up. Up, get up. Okay, it looks like some sort of chest over there. I'll go open that up. Why not? Or just fall into the water. Oh, I forgot you could climb. That's right. But I can't get up the uh, side of this rounded. There we go. Okay. A lot of the, a lot of the issues I'm having um, right now are are just related to like settings, sort of things um, that. Uh, And like details like that in, in, in terms of uh, the smoothness of gameplay. But in terms of the, the presentation um, and uh, the voice acting, everything that, all the, the art that's gone into this is, I'm very impressed. It just, it takes a lot of work to, to make something this detailed and uh, um, so you're, it, you're bound to, to run, you're, you're bound to get some little issues like that. Here, um, let me check. I need to check the settings here a little bit because I think that's The FPS, that's where I want it. I'm going to set it at smooth right now because that, that seems a little choppy with the camera movements, and I, and I don't like that. That's something that somebody who knows more about settings, it's all, all that stuff is there. Um, I'm just not super knowledgeable on, on that, so I, I stick with the presets when I can. Oh, we can open that thing up. Search. This is for everyone. Okay. So, am, am I not every part of everyone? <laughs> thorn Mado, Thorn, Thorn Mado. Huh. Ooh, I need to search the lab. Ooh, these little boxes here. Don't go touching stuff around here. You're the one they rescued from outside. Uh, hello. I'm here to... 
<laughs> Dancing to be older than Shirley. The outside world must not have been kind to you. Celine, let's help our newcomer get settled in. Yes. Yes. Oh yeah. It is I. Oh, we get to choose a preset now and design design our own character. No, that's not what I want. I like playing around with this stuff myself, so I'm I'm, this might take a while. <laughs> Let's see. Um, gotta have those abs. Hmm. I think we've got to go with this one right here. A little more orange than that. No, not quite. There we go. Come on, I, I want the other one. There we go, okay. So that's just the color of the top. And that's... So it had two colors before, but it's only... Oh. Okay, so yeah, so I'm going to go back to this one. That's just the overall color. Let's see. I want to try because it looks like there's uh, there's enough here that I could make it look like my model. So I want to try to do that if I can. At least somewhat, not you know color wise and stuff. I mean, if I can make it look somewhat similar. There we go. That's looking good. So that is just the main outfit, accessory. Nice.
don't like the pattern on it though. I like the, the headband idea, but I don't like the pattern. And then shape. Everything's got to be big. Bust size, what? I feel like we're missing some settings. Or just some stuff that's like... Nice to meet you. Oh, these are stances and stuff. Let's go when you're ready. Reactions. All right, that's looking decent. Now mess with the hair. Hey, that's not looking too bad. Let's see, come on here. All right, there we go. I think that's good enough for now. Face, size. Oh, that's interesting. I, I like this. Yeah, I've got a very long face.
right in the middle there makes my OCD feel good. Or not. <laughs> That's fine. All right. Cheekbones. Hmm. Not much seems to be changing there. We'll go with that. A little rounder. I mean, with, with these designs, there's not really a whole it's not that hard to to get something you want out of it. It's this is pretty easy design. It all looks good. I like it. There we go. What does that do? I don't know. But I want to go back to face size. I want to make it just a little shorter. There we go. Eyes, the eyes. Gotta have the nice blue. Uh, that that that's, I'm clicking blue. That's not blue. Why is the eye color not changing? Oh, that's the <laughs> the eyebrows. That's why. Oh, now you can change, I didn't see this before, you can change the part color. Or just normal. All right. Get a little bit more color in there. And because I like green, so we're going to go with green. A little bit of green right there. Nice. Okay. Back to where was the headbands and stuff again? Oh, accessories. I'm going to take that off for a second. So I can take a look at the eyebrows and stuff.
All right, we'll go with that. I'm gonna brighten this up a bit. Oh no, I don't want that uh, saturation down. There we go, that looks good enough. All right. Eye shape. Gotta get the mongoose eyes in here. What do we got? <laughs> oh, that looks hilarious. Yeah. Right there. Actually, I'm going to go with those. I like those. Eyeballs. Enhanced eyes. Hmm. Yeah, how about we not have jaundice? That would be great. Or not jaundice, but yeah, we'll have white pupils. I like that. Looks a little silly, but I don't want to waste too much more time on this because there's just so many options. And they all look pretty good, so. And then the best part, markings, what do we got? No. Freckles it is. Oh, you got more. Oh, 
Come on, move up. Here we go. Cool. And we'll go with that. Not too bad. There's plenty of options there that, that you can really make yourself look unique. I want to steal stuff again. Give me shit. Can I open this one too, or is it just, just the same? All right, let's Nothing see what like you have to say. Brand new clothes, am I right? Thanks for your help. Anyway, now that's done. You can really show the newcomer around the shelter. See if anything needs help. Leave it to me. All right. I think she likes you. This Ooh. is the control room. You can monitor every nook and cranny of the shelter here. I just want to walk up to everything that looks like machinery and just raid it. Blame the economy. The store is out of business. That doesn't sound like a Maria, but... I want to talk to Sim Simon, Simone. Celine is such a beauty, isn't she? Aw, such nice people. Okay, so we're going that way. I'm gonna go talk to this guy, Alfred. What is it? Let's find out some information. There must be things we can still use in the ruin, only if someone were brave enough to go inside the ruin and get them out. Hmm. Those things transcend time. They would still work. The only issue is that I cannot figure out who created those things. Listen, there are no good or bad people in the shelter. Everyone is fighting for their own survival and purpose. If they did something bad someday, please don't jump at the chance to blame them. You don't know what they would do next. Maybe something good, or maybe something even worse. A shelter is a shelter. It's for you to take shelter in, not for building relationships. Well then. Okay, Alfred. Goodbye. If you've got nothing else, stop keeping me from my work. Maybe Ludwig is nicer. Or do they all say the same stuff? He's not at liberty to discuss. And we have Rutterick over here. Shirley. Morning, Uncle Paul. Is this the one you rescued? How are we feeling today? Much better. Thanks. Staying alive is all that matters in times like these. Consider yourself lucky. Ugh, Uncle Paul, that alcohol I'm smelling. Ugh. Uh, 
<laughs> I might have had a drink or two last night. I was just going to retrieve the environmental monitoring data. You're still hungover, aren't you, Uncle Paul? <sighs> Fine, I'll do it. Wouldn't want you to fall into the water again like last time. I'm detecting some very powerful interferences. These guys came prepared. Uh, what? Huh? You want to do it? That's great. Take the chance to look around the shelter, and you won't get lost with the drone guiding you. What are we doing? Collecting water sample data. How does it feel to fly? Don't worry, just hold on tight. Trust me, I'm an expert. Retrieving records. Shirley crashed into a river during her most recent flight. Um, that. So right now it's just kind of flying you around, so if anybody gets this point and they're a little confused as to what's going on. Oh, it's a beautiful bird. All done? Let's head on back then. Collecting geological sample data. That's enough data samples. Good work. Come back and I'll show you what the other places look like. Take the data to Alfred. Anyway, it's all thanks to your help today. Analysis. Long-term consumption of alcohol is hazardous to physical health. Please follow your dietary recommendations. Reduce alcohol consumption and exercise regularly. Good advice. Mm -hmm. You said it, Mia. Uncle Paul, you'd be smart to listen. I... all right. All right, moving on. I'll take you to meet Benny. Now, where'd you run up to? Okay, there's supposed to be. Benny! Shirley, what brings you here today? Got someone to introduce to you. It's me! Oh. Oh, Sentinel I've heard about you. How are you feeling? We've replaced the cells in the suppressor. Nothing to worry about. Oh, I almost forgot. This is Benny. She's like my big sister, but she's only older than me by two days. She's the best chef around. You must try her food. I can cook you anything you want. As soon as the space rift is fixed, then I can get fresh ingredients. Mm. Fix the space rift? No biggie. We can do that. Let's go. Fix the space rift, huh? That doesn't sound, uh... About the space rift, it's best if my brother doesn't find out, okay? Log, records show that the shelter had eight accidents this month, and Shirley was responsible for... Cut it out, Mia. Do 
You're mine. <laughs> I like Mia. Nope. So, this is our space rift. Um, I don't actually know. Uncle Paul says it uses Omnium to break things down for transmission and Omnium. reassemble them at the other end. Huh? So am I still me if I was broken down and reassembled? I... Oh, well, um, I, I used it a couple of times and I still feel like me. So, how are we going to fix it? The energy conversion filter's broken, that's all. We can just replace it. That simple? That simple. Uncle Paul taught me. Could you help me grab the new filter over there, please? I'll check on the operating program. The backup filter is in the little building over there. Do you see it? Yes, I do. Just install the filter and we're done. Will you help me push the filter in? I think something might be stuck. How, how do I do that? Got it! Easy as pie! Now we just need to test it to make sure it's working fine. Test? Okay. On what? On us, of course. But you can only travel from a space rift to another space rift that you've activated. Seeing that you only have access to one space rift, leave the testing to me. I'm not sure that's such a good idea. Don't worry, I'll be fine. Be right back. Everything's fine. I'm here at Banshee's port and... Uh oh. What are watchers doing here? Get away from me! No! Oh! I hate my. Ah! Yeah! Time to be the hero. When your weapon charge is full, switching weapons. Escape to upgrade weapon. Let's take a look. All right, upgrade. Select all. Enhance. Yeah. Now we got big stabby sword. Up. Oh. Ow. There needs to be like a targeting. Just, it's not even. That's my biggest issue that I'm having right now with the game. Is that a lot of times I'm just attacking past an enemy. And it's not even connecting. Where are the monsters? Oh, 
Are they gone? They're gone. You're safe, Shirley. Phew. Are you hurt? Glob, there have been a total of nine incidents this month in the shelter. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm really scared of bugs. How did you run into it? There's something wrong with the Space Rift's locating system. I was transported to Banja's beach, and that's where I saw them. The locating system's infrastructure is really high-tech. I don't think even Uncle Paul can figure it out. Perhaps we can ask Fra <gasps> Franz for help. Oh, yeah! Why didn't I think of that? Franz from Hykros. He's super smart. Come on, let's go find him. Warning. Space Rift malfunctioned. Normal operation suspended. Mia should stay here to warn others. Good point, Mia. I'll leave it to you then. Careful. Don't let my brother know that we're sneaking out. Is the person you're looking for just outside of the shelter? Not much further. Come on! Huh? See that huge boulder over there? The one on the other side of the Blue River. Yes, I see it. But it looks like some sort of projection. Zeke said it's the entrance to a facility from the old Federation days. They have a Saleacrim system set up to disguise it as a boulder. What's in there? I don't know. Zeke doesn't allow me to get close to it. He says it's dangerous. I bet there's something super important in there. Hycro specially sent Franz here just to investigate it. Get ready. We need to get to the other side of the river. Come on, let me show you something fun. What is it? Uh, it's a long way to get down this cliff. So, how about a shortcut? Yeah, let's do it. Don't worry, just do what I do. It's totally safe, I promise. Hold on. You're not going to... We... <sighs> that was fun, wasn't it? We're gonna cross the river. You do know how to swim, right? Yep. How about a race? First one to the other side wins! Okay, I'm counting down. Three, one! Uh, I've gone shenanigans. What's this? I wanna... this thing. Got it. Okay. Franz! Oh, well, if it isn't little Shirley. It's unlike Zeke to let you come this far out. Zeke's busy, so here I am. 
We need a favor. There's something wrong with the Space Rift's locating system, and you're the only one who knows how to fix it around here. Oh, no problem. I'll take a look on the way back. We were sort of thinking if you could help us maybe now? We're kinda in a hurry. Well, but I'm trying to fix this deconstructor. Deconstructor? Is that the thing that can eliminate the simulacrum system? That's right. However, this antique stopped working just when I needed it. Will it be difficult to fix? It's just a short circuit, but some of the internal components burned out. It'll probably take me some time. But Benny is trying to get to Benjes. We're running out of food in the shelter. <sighs> Fine. I'll go fix the spacecraft and come back to this later. Stay here and don't cause any trouble, okay? Don't worry. No, no promises. Okay. to get this machine working again. Surely, you're not suggesting. You want to know what's inside too, don't you? If we get this deconstructor working, we can take a peek. This deconstructor is an old model manufactured by Banjus Tech. It's not too complicated, so I think I can fix it. From the looks of it, I think the power source probably burned out. So, what should we do? Well, someone should stay here to watch over things. Can you please go to the Astra Omnium Tower? There's a scrapper there. Ask it if we can borrow its backup power source. We're friends, so just mention my name and it'll definitely help us. But hey, it's dangerous to be far away from the shelter. And it's quite a journey there. So be careful, okay? I know! Take my jetpack! You'll get there way faster! Uh, just be careful with it. And if anything dangerous happens, just run. Use the jetpack to fly over difficult terrain. Give it a shot. Hold the jetpack and drag it to change its direction before releasing and allowing it to dash towards the arrow's direction. Yeah, I get lost a lot, so I'm going to go with Guided. That's the Omnium Tower, but the surrounding area belongs to the Hyenas. Be careful.
I gotta get used to this. The, the fighting is still very wonky to me. Like, how, how am I supposed to get up there right now? And I don't have a ranged attack. And it won't let me use the, uh, the jetpack again. I'm not sure what I'm doing wrong. I see, so the, um, the uh, jetpack has a timer. There we go. What is this? All right, hey guys, um, I got a quick meeting. I got to jump too quick. Um, so I'm going to log off here for a while. I might come back on later today to check more of this out. Uh, thanks for watching. Uh, remember to check out, keep, keep up on Twitter. Come say hi whenever you see me on. Great to have you around, Mongoose Clan. Peace.